like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars the faith life is not an ordinary life the kingdom life is not a mediocre life however it depends on understanding one of the many systems of advantage that have been provided by the grace and the mercy of God to help the saints excel in light, to fulfill their destinies and then to live lives that are notable and uncommon is favor. Hallelujah. To understand the subject of favor, there are three things you need to know. Please write it down. The subject of favor is built on three foundations. There are three facts that you need to know in order to really appreciate the necessity of favor. Number one, write this down please. Destiny fulfillment and results are time dependent. Destiny fulfillment slash results are time dependent dependent that means why do i need favor in my life why is favor or why should favor be such an important necessity the first reason is that destiny fulfillment and to produce result in this earth you don't have all the time destiny fulfillment is time dependent that means if time is against you john chapter 9 and verse 4 is god speaking to someone john 9 and verse 4 let's hurry up john chapter 9 and verse 4 jesus is speaking now john 9 and 4 hallelujah do we have it projected he said i must walk the walks of him that sent me while it is day jesus is speaking he says for the night cometh." in other words fulfilling my destiny is time dependent i do not have all the time if i do not maximize time a time will come i may not be able to fulfill destiny that means if for any reason you were designed to live say 100 years and you get born again at age 40 from a spiritual standpoint you wasted 40 years 40 years is already against you are we together now you will need a system introduced to your life that can remedy for that 40 years destiny actualization is time dependent ecclesiastes chapter 12 from verse 1 and 2 popular scripture Ecclesiastes 12, 1 and 2. It says, Remember now your creator in the days of your youth, before the difficult days come, and the years draw near, when you say, I have no pleasure in them. Verse 2. It says, While the sun and the light and the moon and the stars are not darkened, and the clouds do not return after the rain. Do you know what he's saying? He's saying, remember your creator, maximize your life when all of those elements are supporting you. Because a time will come, they will not always support you. If you want to dry your clothes and have it dried very fast, you take an advantage of a provision already called the sun. Is that true? When the sun is shining brightest, you come quickly. If you need water in your bucket, you take advantage of the rain. You don't necessarily create it. You just discern and take advantage of them when they come. There is what we call in this side of the world, rainy season and dry season. A good farmer is also one who understands the seasons. You need to understand that destiny fulfillment and Getting results are time dependent. Number two, you need to understand that destiny fulfillment and getting results are also men dependent. Psalms 115 and verse 16. What does that mean? To obtain results and to actualize your destiny, you will need men. This is the world of men. It says the heaven, even the heavens, 
are the Lord's but the earth has he given to the children of men that means if anything must happen in this side of God's kingdom you cannot do it in isolation with the uh, cooperation of a man are we learning now fulfilling your destiny and producing results in this kingdom is men dependent that means just like i think it was it was pastor jerry who was sharing not too long and he said it's possible for someone to not like you you know that ordinarily unassisted you are in trouble what if that man is a gatekeeper gatekeepers are people you cannot cast away you don't cast them away because they control systems and structures the only way you the only thing you can do with them is god will give you favor with them when a man's ways pleases the lord he makes those kinds of enemies to be at peace with you they are not the ones you cast because they are gatekeepers how do you cast pharaoh out of egypt when god wants to help you come out of that prison he will make pharaoh like you but to pray that pharaoh will leave egypt is not a wise prayer because egypt belongs to him is under his influence are you learning now destiny fulfillment is men dependent number three the third fact you need to know that necessitates studying the subject of favor is that the whole world lies in wickedness under the siege of satan the whole world lies in wickedness first john 5 19 very quickly first john 5 19 shalakos kebriandakata it says we know that we are of god and the whole world is under the sway of the wicked one that's nkjv if i can have king james that will be fine it says the whole world lieth in wickedness the whole world means everywhere including your neighborhood including the nation you seek to go to the bible says the whole world lieth in wickedness that means there is no physical place of escape that exempts you from the possibility of wickedness provided you are alive there must then be a divine factor that immunes you above and against this reality first hmm. peter chapter 5 and verse 8 apostle peter is teaching us now first peter 5 8 he says be sober be vigilant be sober and be vigilant he says because your adversary the devil is as a roaring lion walking about seeking whom he may devour so this these are facts they let you know that satan is not sitting idle he's not in one place he's roaming around looking for any destiny that looks like christ so that he will waste it and that includes yours are we together the revelation of favor is built upon these realities that number one let me recap again the first basis for desiring favor is that to fulfill your destiny you need to sustain the ability to have dominion over time because destiny is time dependent then destiny fulfillment is also man dependent if you have time and no man can help you within that time you will still waste destiny and then if you have time and you have men and the realm of the spirit satan who is the adversary comes he can still make you destroy destiny please believe what i'm teaching you i know what i'm saying what then is favor what is favor to be favored means to be given unusual kindness unusual acceptance and unusual access please write it down to be favored means to be given unusual kindness unusual acceptance and unusual access that is what it means to be favored 
if these three things are not captured in your life you are not favored maybe you have breakthrough unusual kindness unusual acceptance and unusual access these are the tripartite scriptural proof of favor in the life of a man so when you say i am favored we don't need to argue prophetically yes but in experience we will vet you from the lens of unusual kindness unusual acceptance and unusual access this is what god is doing in the life of someone pastor jerry prophesied so lavishly from the depth of his heart let me join my faith with him and your your man of god to declare over you these three things in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god from tonight that grace that makes for unusual kindness receive it right now unusual acceptance receive it right now unusual access receive it right now please sit down hallelujah 